السلام عليكم ورحمه الله ام باك تو يو اجين معاذ عثمان اند نو كومباني ود ايفر هاير مي ليت مي سمبليفاي ثينكس اوفر ذا كورس اوف فيو past month i've been applying to a lot of jobs and every day that i wake up i wake up to an email from a company saying that unfortunately i wasn't selected and i was like why you're asking for the same things that i have you want an editor i got editing skills i got more than 10 years of editing experience you need corporate work i got that i've even worked with google i mean if my work is good enough for google then it's good enough for you but it seems that there is an issue and i've emailed one of the employers back i was like hmm, what is wrong with my cv what could i fix going forward and their reply was simply your social media presence hinders your application simply put if a company hires me and i tweet something bad because i have like a couple of followers that would look bad for the mother company that the, the main company that i'm hired with my voice would be associated with that company and being verified on twitter and having a few thousand followers on instagram kind of hinders the whole hiring situation but that just means that i have to choose between my own personal brand and building my own following and this weird company that i apply to that i have no experience working with and i don't know if i'm gonna stay with them a month or several years i can't just delete my social media i can't just delete my own legacy that i've worked more than nine years building for you to be hired by you i understand getting a salary is good getting a stable job is good but for now i would have to settle for the day-to-day -day freelance work that i get since they don't really care about my social media that much as long as i deliver what they ask for work wise which is good with me and it's not just that it's the people that i try to collaborate with other creators i've reached out to like 20 30 creators here in new york photographers video makers filmmakers you know youtubers even but i've only heard from one person who was a nigerian that moved to new york a couple of years ago but new yorkers it seems that they just don't want to collaborate with someone coming from outside who doesn't have the credibility of being a new yorker or maybe they're afraid that i would steal their money or steal their organs or so i don't understand <laughs> like if someone gave me a valid reason for not showing up you know when i got ghosted like three four times by a photographer like we should meet here and they're like dope let's do it you know let's let's go and take photos together and whatever and they never show up and i end up just roaming the city and roaming the streets on my own and which is fine i guess but it's the sense that you don't belong to this community you don't belong to something bigger than yourself you don't belong to this group of photographers and fitting and that's one of the issues that you would face moving from one region to another even moving from one city to another if you don't have friends there if you don't have connections already made up in that new city you're on your own you're stranded you can't even find anybody to help you move your stuff let alone find a job but that's the challenge can you survive on your own can you actually try to build new relationships can you actually try to build new friendships new connections and i truly want to tell you it gets better i truly want to tell you that it gets easier by time especially here in new york nobody cares about you really if you fall down the street you know a few people would help but most new yorkers wouldn't because this is how the city is built it's built on being fast-paced it's built on just minding your own business and getting your own ish done and just like the city i kept going as well i go on photo walks every couple of weeks i take random photos i try to do my best to enjoy the thing that i enjoy which is photography doing it for my own doing it for my own sake without actually going in a group or having a community to back that up having a community would be great but as long as i don't have connections yet 
I'll survive on my own. And just like pushing myself into doing, you know, my photo walks alone, I've pushed myself more and more to apply to more jobs, to apply to more work. I even applied to MKBHD. He offered, Where like, he needs an editor. I'm like, I'm the editor you need. And I send in my CV and I send in my resume or whatever. Still waiting for your reply. Marquez, what, what's up, man? <laughs> but here's what I want to leave you with. If you're struggling to find friends, if you're struggling to find the right people to share your passion with, to share your hobbies with, or even to work with and collaborate, you need to put your work out there. You need to struggle to show the best work that you can produce on your own, and that would attract the right people, that would attract the right group to you, and that will get you connections eventually. My name is Wadal Osman. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Woo.